Welcome back to Alcohol Content. You're here with Ryan. And Rick. Hey. And me, Austin. And we are back. The Redwood Empire Strikes Back. The Redwood Empire. With the Lost Monarch. Episode 2 5. Yeah. Redwood Empire for a hot take. Let's get this open and get it poured. Cracking it. So, Lost Monarch is is basically a boo rye. It's. It's a blend of uh, rye and bourbon. Um, look, 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 look. So Redwood Empire has their their rye and their bourbon, and then the Lost Monarch is a blend. Aged at least three years. Lost Monarch's named after a redwood tree. Three it's years. 90 proof. 90 proof. What's this, $45 here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it but is. I think in other markets it's actually isn't it less? I think could be. Yeah, I mean it might yeah. be less. It might be in like the more thirty dollar range, which would be insane. Oh uh, yeah. At least for the bourbon was good. This um, you said this is a rye, a boo rye. It's a boo it's a, rye. So it's it's a blend of rye and then bourbon. Ooh, so it's a blend wow. of whiskeys. Yeah. This has the most like perfect dill. Nose. <laughs> this is like Lay's dill chips. Well, bag, that's a bag of dill pickles? on the nose. Yeah, yeah on oh, one yeah. side of it, on one side of it, it's like I'm eating a piece of fresh dill. Oh my gosh! In but but, on, but uh, exactly on the other side, in the other is nostril. caramel. That is really fun. Yeah. No, it's it's dill and caramel. Ooh. I get I get I definitely get dill, but I get more of a also kind of that. Sort of eucalyptus yeah. floral notes. As yeah, well. it does kind of swirl around. But dill's what hits you first. Oh yeah, for that me, smells delicious. Dill, caramel. That but then yes, then awesome. underneath that. What a that, weird mix of smells too. Like you. It's oh yeah, smells. I want to smell. <laughs> it's it's only smells. It's only smells. <laughs> I o- I want to, like smell dill and caramel and like eucalyptus, eucalyptus. and floral like. That just doesn't make sense, no, but when that's you smell it, it like it tingles my brain and makes me like relax. Really? Yeah. It's a that's an experience. Mm. 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 Did you taste it? Yeah. Give us that hot take. That is all right, hot take. This is delicious. Oh yeah. This is awesome. This is better than the bourbon, I think. Oh. Interesting. This is more complex. This is so interesting and fun. It's fun. It kind of has a little bit of chalky, but it's not like a unpleasant. It just adds texture to uh, to it. And mm. the amount of depth and character that this bottle has for being three years aged and ninety proof, yeah, is incredible. This drinks. This bats above. All those things, all the stats that it has, <laughs> does not do it justice. And we talked about in our our last hot take of their bourbon, they are blenders, right? So we believe so. Yeah, I don't think they're distilled or or barrelers slash blenders. Yeah, they're sourcing it. I'm pretty yeah. sure. But and I, I said in the last time I was like I have something kind of weird against people not fair. distilling their own stuff. Yeah. But these guys have impressed me with their bourbon. This is really awesome. And their branding is just spot on, especially for like California, the Redwood Northern California, uh, yeah. Forest, Redwood Forest. This one's really cool. I want to show everyone that. The last one was a dude's head exploding in a tree. This is a tree coming out of a guy's head, um, and he's sleeping. But I, I love this. It's a it's a good brand. I like the look of it. Yeah. is good for forty five dollars. Classy. Sign me up. And if you can get this cheaper than forty five dollars. Pick this one up if you see it at a store. Absolutely. Well, and it's as aged at least three years. That you know they always have to list the lowest amount of time aged. So there could be. It, it, would, it tastes like there's it definitely older stuff yeah, in it, here. It than would not three surprise years. me at all if there was some older stuff that they've blended together with a three year. Kind of makes me think of like a, an old candy, like like an old style candy. I can't hmm. pin it down, but. Um, not the overly sweet fake artificial yeah. flavoring, but like it, just a like, natural sweet, like an old root beer, um, like those barrel old, barrel old root barrel beers. root beer. Oh yeah, wow! Like a little wow. bit of that flavor. Wow. Do they make those anymore? I don't know, I, but do I you, hope they do. Does those that are, like ring any bells for you guys? Like yes. on the taste, yes, 
Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. It's, it's I, the stuff yeah. that's left over on the tongue. It's it's the aftertaste of that. Yeah, like it's sweet, but it's not crazy yeah. sweet. Yeah, this some, isn't. Some I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't. I wouldn't yeah. list this as a super sweet. No, it's not at all. Mm -hmm. It's just the right amount of sweetness. That nose, I I could smell that all day. That's lovely. And the flavor, a lot of things come through on the flavor. I'm not getting. I'm just getting a tiny hint of dill on the flavor. You know, actually yeah. on the taste. Uh, but that eucalyptus, uh, eucalyptus comes through pretty strongly, and the, and the floral along with me is definitely some caramel, almost cream soda or root berry well, type coming up. And I think a little bit of that sweetness that's coming through is like when we tried the bourbon, that sort of white chocolate, just yeah. a little bit of that. But then yeah. you have that's that's sort of the underlying factor that then all the rye is kind of building off of. Yeah, I'm glad you said that. There's just a t tad of the white chocolate going yeah. on. It's not as much as on the bourbon. Not at all, because the rye is definitely like more prominent, but I it adds that nice layer that's underneath that really helps the rye. What I like is the rye spikes, and it's not like it keeps going like some ryes where it just kind of mm -hmm. takes over the back end. It spikes, and then it just drops, and the wood kind of balances with the rye. Right. Mm -hmm. It's replaced with, for me, some wood and some sweet some sweetness. Yeah. This is enjoyable. This, this is lovely. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is really nice. I mean, I would argue quite complex and yeah. interesting and ex an experience. Definitely, and also not heavy. I no, mean, it's hot no. outside right now. I'm like, this is a good uh, whiskey to be drinking. So, unfortunately, when they age this, they're chopping down redwoods. It's but true. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Aged in redwoods. <laughs> well, they actually don't have to charm because of the California fires. <laughs> it's like pre charred. They're pre charred. Pre -charred. <laughs> Say, that's what's why it's so the, what's cheap. What's the highest char level? That's why it's so cheap. <laughs> what's the highest char level? Uh, well, four. Well, four. four. So it's yeah. at least well, a seven. Hold on. Here we go. So <laughs> but, we, we figure out what, what happens. They go get some ultra charred uh, redwoods, okay? It's AKA this is only, this is aged down. only three years, <laughs> so you know they're able to get some flavor out of it really quickly. They're supercharging that aging process. Oh yeah, mm. Mm. <laughs> we've damn cracked the case. <laughs> uh, yeah, boy, that dill still this on the nose. This is a drinker. This is a buyer. Like absolutely, Buy go it. go Buy out it. and get this. Support these guys. They are blending some awesome whiskey. So yeah, I feel like they're pretty unknown. Like they're not. A super well-known brand, yeah. but we've tried two of their bottles, and they're yeah. pretty much killing it. And it's not super expensive, which for new brands is hard. Yes. So it's awesome that they're not crazy prices for this really good whiskey. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to do the follow-up episode with their uh, actual rye. The rye. Return yeah. of the rye. Yeah, return of the rye. <laughs> return of the rye. <laughs> yeah. It, it. I mean, their labeling and stuff like that is... Mm -hmm. Is interesting. Uh, I mean, very, very cool. I mean, they actually have the the longitude, latitude, and stuff like that on there. I of where the fires were, <laughs> no, where, the, <laughs> where the barrels are sourced from. Paradise, <laughs> Sonoma County. All Not right, just wine anymore. Uh oh. Well, actually, uh, mentioning the wine aspect, the wine industry in California is so huge, and they've put so much research into like marketing and stuff that every time I've seen whiskey that's based out of California, their marketing is pretty on point because yeah. I think they're just taking all that wine marketing knowledge. knowledge and they're just like, all right, how can we Well, it's all those this? damn graphic designers down yeah. in California, you know? That <laughs> Silicon Valley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With all your right. bib and tucker. I don't think I don't think they say it like that. Silicon <laughs> Valley. I don't think no, they, no, we say it like that. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> we say it like that. Jeez. Because where you have that accent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it's us thumbs up on YouTube. You're you're watching us now. I give hope. us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. Like the video if we you like this, this content. Smash Subscribe if you want to see it. more. And also we are on all the podcatchers. You want to listen to us? And not watch us. You want to listen listen to us on the go. We're on a run, you know, because we just we're really exciting and just gets you pumped up. <laughs> if you're gonna work out for a while, yeah. <laughs> we're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're on Google. We're on all the podcasters. So go ahead, check us out there. Other than that, I think we'll catch you next time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.